Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be comparing these two massage guns. So, for the most part, these two look very similar. Uh, side view, they look almost identical, right? Compared to each other. Um, one difference, of course, just being the logo there. Holding these in hand, um, honestly, even holding them in hand, there's not a huge difference between the two. Uh, I would say this one maybe feels a little heavier. This one feels a little lighter. But what am I holding? Uh, this is the Hypervolt Massage Gun uh, by Hyper Ice. And it uh, I just got it sent to me today from Hypervolt. Um, a rep from them called our store uh, sometime last week and said, hey, I, I want to send you a massage gun um, for your staff to demo. And I said, hey, well, you know, I'm honestly not really that interested. Um, we carry another massage gun in store um, from Trigger Point, and it's 200 bucks, and the Hyper Volt gun is $350. So to me, it uh, it's not too appealing. Uh, it's more expensive, and the rep assured me, hey, um, side by side, this is gonna beat out the Trigger Point gun, no problem. $150 price difference between the two is pretty extreme to me, so um, I said, you know, whatever, send it, like, we'll try it out. So I got it in today, and I, I honestly um, hadn't done a whole lot of research about the Hypervolt gun before, but the funny thing is, is I have uh, something that's actually very, very similar. Of course, it looks almost identical to it. Um, my dad actually got me this for Christmas. Um, I talked to him on the phone today. He said he paid 100 bucks for it. Um, and but I, I did some like further researching. I would search DH Gate, um, which if you're not familiar with that, it's a kind of a wholesale site, kind of like Alibaba, um, where you can get on there and you can it, stuff ships from China. You pay super cheap prices. So I found something that looks almost identical to this for 56 bucks. So I mean, for less than 60 bucks, uh, you get this gun that's almost identical looking to the Hypervolt. So what's the difference? Um, you know, $350, $56. What's the difference? Um, I mean, they're almost identical. Power them on. Even the backs of them, you know, pretty much the same, right? Um, so they're both powered on. Uh, they both light up at the end. So go ahead and turn them on. Low power here. This is the cheap version. Low power here. So, to me, the official Hypervolt is a little quieter. This is a little quieter than the cheaper model. So that's nice. Um, you know, you don't want to hear it quite as loud as, you know, some of the others. So that's uh, low medium, high, just a little louder, right? And then that off, so on the cheaper version, low, medium, high, a little louder, I would say, than the, the other one, right? But, so, okay, so it's louder, but, you know, what's the, what's the big difference? Um, so we're just starting them both up in low power. You know, some people prefer the lower power for certain things compared to higher power than the other ones. Um, so, you know, some people really like that the, maybe it, I would say this one's maybe a little bit slower than this one at low power. Like we said, it's already a little quieter too. But side by side comparison, there's really not a big difference. I don't feel too much difference between the two. I feel like maybe even the cheaper one is a little bit, a little bit stronger, honestly. Um, there's definitely a little bit more weight to the official Hypervolt here um, than the cheaper version. But if it were me and I was having to pay full retail price for them, I'd buy the cheaper one 100%. I think I was, would be getting the same amount of, uh, you know, um, massage power out of the cheaper one compared to 
the uh, the official Hypervolt one, and for a difference of two hundred and ninety dollars, I would definitely get the cheaper one. Um, especially, you know, you know, you can't go wrong. Sixty bucks, you get a massage gun, you can try it out and say, hey, you know, if it if it dies, you spent sixty bucks. That's not too bad comparing to like three hundred fifty bucks. Um, Honestly, to, if it was me and I was just paying retail and I wanted to select between the Hypervolt, the Trigger Point, and um, say the Theragun, I think the Theragun looks the best. Aesthetically, the looks of it look better to me than this goofy like top portion here. Trigger Point has the same thing. and But the Theragun, it just looks a little bit cleaner. And I think the cheapest one for those are like 250 So... I would probably start there. Um, you probably have a little bit more power in the Hypervolt compared to the Theragun. And then you've got the, it comes with um, four different heads uh, with it. So, you know, if that's what uh, you're into, you want the different attachments, you know, maybe you go for something like this. I found, um, you know, once I got one of the heads on there, I didn't really care about the other ones, um, they're all doing something similar, and for the most part, there's only like one point that's actually hitting um, your muscles at a time. So I didn't really notice the difference. Um, they do have like a pronged one, which I could see in like very small instances, like maybe you'd want that instead. So I don't know. Um, I would still go with this. This one came with four different heads to it too, so um, I feel like I got all the features of the big guy but in a much cheaper package and you know side by side there's no difference to me so those are my thoughts uh let me know what you think um have you tried one of these massage guns do you have a favorite theragun trigger point hypervolt uh what are your thoughts do you have a, a knockoff as well thanks for watching the vlog today appreciate it if you like the content tune in for more subscribe like the video and let me know what you think guys all right have a great day. Peace.